In winning time for volleyball, here are some things we should consider. Number one, the number of substitutions remaining. Consider that setters and others that normally do not play the front row could end up playing the front row as substitutions remaining begin to decrease. Number two, timeouts. Does the team in the lead have timeouts at their disposal? Does the team trailing have timeouts at their disposal? When would they use these available timeouts? Number three, the standard of the set. Have you had to call any of the following in the set? Ball handling, illegal alignment, net fouls, line violations including center line violations and or line violations on the server, over the net. Will you have to call any of these in winning time? Number four, delays. If teams have challenges available, would they use a challenge as a timeout? If teams have challenges available, would they use these challenges to engage the second referee, regardless of whether they intend to use the challenge or not? Would coaches, head coaches, this, that is, engage the officials on close plays, not necessarily because they disagree with the ruling, but to either stop the other team's momentum and or gain an illegal timeout? Service error number six for Oregon. Louisville takes.